it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven This one is for Martha. Hi Martha. And um, Martha says, firstly, I'm so very excited that you'll be doing videos again. Your presence has always been very inspirational to me and I've always found so much guidance and support in your messages. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you, Martha. So, um, now, here's my question. After a few years ago, you did do a free reading for me and in that reading you told me that Archangel Michael was lovingly pushing me out of my stay-at-home comfort zone in order to have my writing get noticed. I would love more information from my guides about the kinds of networking or submitting of my work that I write for me. Sometimes I find myself lost in the shoulds of getting my screenplays seen by producers, agents and managers and I'm not always sure I am acting from my own personal process. Thanks so much. Right. The first thing I heard was, yes, please act from your own personal process and get away from the shoulds. It's time for you to start breaking some rules. And one of the things that I feel, uh, wow, so many things. First of all, I'm hearing that you need to get your presence on a bigger stage. You need to be out in the world, not just approaching those people but you need to be seen because it's your presence that makes things happen. You have a way of being out among people and starting conversations and this is when things begin to progress but you have a way of retreating back into your shell and going back into the postal process and they're saying we want you out with people in the world. This is what the encouragement forward is connected with. I've got a sense of there being something that you do that you could stand and present and speak to people. I want you to be out in front of people and then I want you to be building those ideas and allowing people to have more access to you online and in person. I want you to create something that gives you a bigger platform to manoeuvre from. And I also feel, and I know you might recoil in horror at this, I feel that you could be very good at speaking. I feel that ideas flow very freely and you have the gift of being quite inspired yourself, very inspired yourself in the moment as well. And where it tends to go wrong is when you get caught up too much, as you said, in the shoulds, in the structures, the systems, the right way to do things. There is a natural flow to your self-expression, as with all writers and artists. There is a natural flow that needs to be put into the way that you network, as you say, with people. You need to let people get a sense of your storytelling live and in the moment. This could also uh, move into putting together little vignettes, little videos, little bits of your scripts and ideas. You need to be visible <laughs> is what I'm really feeling as opposed to just approaching people with blocks of paper. Okay, I hope that helps you and I'm gonna use the Ascended Mastercards because um, I don't know why, I just feel like we're on that vibration here. So, oh, okay, thank you. They're saying because the Ascended Masters are speaking through you now, so this is the vibration that we're on. Okay, rather than the angelic vibration. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go with that spread again where we've got past, present, future, influences, and where we have advice and... Uh, yeah, Ov overall outcome if you take the advice. Okay, so what's been leading up to this, to these circumstances? <laughs> I love that. They've put it like this. It says drink more water. You are awash with ideas. Sometimes you can't contain all of the ideas. It's like a flood. It just comes flooding out. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. And the inspiration is just the same. It's like a tap. And so you need to focus your mind more and 
if you're going to approach doing some of the things that have been suggested at the beginning of the reading, you need to approach them one by one, okay? One by one. And it's that old thing I keep having to say to people about the eating an elephant. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Oh, I didn't start your timer. Okay, so I'm just going to have to stop when it gets to... Um, Okay, obviously they needed to say all of that. Sorry to everyone else that you've got a little bit more time. That was my forgetfulness. So, okay, one bite at a time, one thing at a time. Learn to not stem the tide, but learn to get control over the flood of inspiration. Um, and in the present, balance career and home life. You need more time to think these things through. You need more time to plan these things. So if there's too much going on that draws you away from home, then you need to make sure that when you have time at home, you're very focused about putting something together, creating something and putting it out there rather than, oh, where am I going to get the next list of people to send stuff to or who's the next person that I could contact? You need to be in a situation where you don't, you no longer feel you're running after people to get them to make something happen. You are creating a stage and a platform from which they can view you easily and you're going to need more time to do that. You're going to need to organize your home life a little bit more carefully so that you can think and plan and structure and then start to make those things happen. Just stay with it because I feel you can listen back to this and you might not take in all the um, ideas the first time around but the second time around, the third time around, things might start to gel. So please don't be overwhelmed. Just, just take it for what it is and just, you know, it comes with a lot of love. So moving into, and they're saying she will know what she needs to reorganise. There are some activities that are not to be prioritised anymore, okay? And this is to do with things uh, things that happen to your home. I'm seeing doors opening and closing and people being, boundaries being put in place and people being asked not to call at a certain time or something like that. Okay, moving into the future. Right, father, husband, brother, son, um, Osiris is the card. So I feel that one of the things that needs to happen is that you need to be able to heal some of the issues that you've had around some of the male energies in your life. You need to have more confidence in yourself and in your ability to present yourself strongly and with confidence, strongly and with, you know, um, more assuredness to, to speak up, to speak out and to share what you have to offer. So this is some of the healing that's going to be happening. I also feel that there is going to be a man of influence um, that you can work with at some point. And that isn't to say that this is someone who's going to, um, you know, that it is going to make it happen for you. But I just feel that there is someone that you could possibly work with at some point in the future on setting something up. Maybe a fellow writer or someone else who's looking to start some doing things in a different way, in a more creative and unique way. So look out for that. And um, it could be somebody who's already in your environment who could support you, like a husband or a you know a son. Yeah, I'm just hearing son. Okay, so your advice card. That's oh, that's so perfect. Work your magic. You can do it. When you start to bring your energy, bring your essence, your presence into a room and meet people and talk to people about what you do, that's when things start to happen and that's what you need to do. Everything, your strategy, if you like, for connecting and for bringing your work into the world needs to be around that because that's where you work your magic. And it's not just about manifesting and visualising, that is a very important part of it as well. But it's also about knowing what your strengths are, knowing where and how you create magic. And not trying to do the shoulds of how everyone tells you you're supposed to present a package and a treatment and do this and do that. But asking yourself, what is magical about me? What really works? When have I really achieved things in life? 
when have I managed to attract positive um, reactions to my work, to any work that I've done, anything? When has life flowed the best and felt the best and when have I felt the most successful? There is something about that recipe that you need to apply to this rather than trying to do that in that systematic way. You're quite right, that doesn't work for you. Find out what you're magical in and bring that magic to this way of working, to this particular thing that you need to present to the world in a magical way. You can do it, says Archangel Michael. Yes, remember you started by talking about Archangel Michael. He's still there and he's still saying, you can do it. But you need to work your magic. It's not enough for him to be gently encouraging you and nudging you out into the world. You need to, you know, think creatively and think, you know, in those ways. We've, we've explained it, I think, quite well. So I hope that serves you well. And if you do follow those steps, the outcome, trust. You'll learn to trust yourself again. That's really what's missing here. You've stopped trusting yourself and you've stopped trusting the messages in what you've written and you really need to trust them. You need to have confirmation in the moment. You need to have affirmation. So whether it's going out and reading bits of your work, like getting a couple of people together, like a couple of actors or just friends or whatever, and going out and reading them to people in a bookshop or a book group. I know it's not traditional for screenplays. I know it's not, you know, but that will give, when you get a response from people, that will give you the confidence that you need to remember that, oh, this is actually quite good. You've lost a lot of that confidence, that sense of it being good and the sense of it having an impact on people. And the same thing could happen if you made some videos and you put them out there and people commented on them. You know, you need to have your hands in, you know, the clay as the as Abraham would say. You need to be shaping and moulding this on a physical level and you also need to be shaping and moulding it in your mind and having control over that. You know, you're the one that needs to have this control. It's not about waiting for someone to come in. Even though that is a strong possibility, you're the person that needs to heal the part of you that doesn't believe you can be strong and do this and go out into the world and do it. So once you can do that and face all of this and use your magic, your trust will grow. And when your trust begins to grow, you'll do more and more and more and more and more. But it's a snowballing effect and it's something that you make happen. It's not something that just happens. I know you're aware of that because you have been trying, but this is, it's about doing it in a magical way. And you kind of hinted at that in your question. You kind of hinted that you know that there is a more magical way to do it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we're at our time now. I hope that's helped you. And um, please comment and let me know whether that resonated and share a video for me. And yeah, take care. Speak to you again. Bye. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you, I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much. Get from your touch a little closer to him.